Memories fade away With her out, with her out But I can't ignore the ache Lying deep underground You must have lost your way Look around, look around All we can do now is pray Make it count Everybody, it's me again. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing well. Yes. And today is kind of a sad day, at least this video, because, you know, basically this is a goodbye to Mark Jacobs. And that's really sad. I, I don't know if he's reformulating and repackaging or if he didn't make it through COVID and he's going away like Becca Cosmetics. I don't know. If you know, please list it down in the comments below for everyone else. I have heard both rumors and I don't know which is correct. So if you know, please leave it and you know for sure or you've heard from somebody else on YouTube who has the inside information, please let me know and list it down for everybody else in the um, comments below. This is a goodbye video to Marc Jacobs or a goodbye haul and I was wasn't sure if I wanted to do this video because a lot of these products 99% of these products are not available anymore but if you do happen to see them like I said before either they magically appear in Sephora's on Sephora's sale page or if you see them at Nordstrom's Rack or what have you definitely pick them up because everything I have purchased I love. I haven't tried these eyeshadow palettes that I picked up. They are limited edition, but I have, I think I do have two Marc Jacobs eyeshadow palettes in my collection. And I, I love everything Marc Jacobs. I, I love his lipsticks. I love his highlighters. I love his brushes. I love everything there is, his bronzers, his highlighters everything and I know there is some highlighters on the Sephora sale tab and some of his highlighters and whatnot and some of his fragrances so if you the fragrances are not on the sale tab but I think they are on the website itself so this is a goodbye video to Marc Jacobs so I hope you enjoy it everyone and yeah so let's go ahead and get on with the video so I just checked the Marc Jacobs website not much on there but I did see on, as of the date of this video, on Sephora's website, there are a few of the Marc Jacobs highliners. So I, these are waterproof liners. I ended up, I think I only had one of his highliners and that was the black. And I'm not sure what happened to that one. I thought I had it in here. Um, I, it must be, it must have fallen in another box. Anyway, so, uh, I'm a big fan of blacker. Oh, here it is. <laughs> I'm totally blind. So I'm a big fan of blacker. In fact, I think this was the old, old packaging because I bought two of them and this is my last one. So I wish I would have bought another one to get me through, but I forgot it. I thought I got one and I didn't. And then by the time I realized I didn't have a spare uh, black highliner, um, they were all gone. But there are a few shades available on Sephora's website. So the shades I do have are blacker, which is a black. And these are really good because they stay in my waterline and they don't budge and they don't move and they don't transfer up here, you know, because I do have hooded eyes. So I that's what I love about these. I'm hoping he comes back and he will bring these back because they are my favorite. So I do have other colors uh, that I got because I love wearing a really intense lower lash line. And when I do wear it, I usually wear a sort of an accent color, uh, um, something other than black or brown. Although I do have black and brown, but just something different, just sort of an, uh, an intense lower lash line, an accent lower lash line. I really love that. So I recommend the black if and when he comes back. So maybe you will stumble upon this video when he does come back 
and you will see these and you will see many reviews of this haul and you will want to buy them so fingers crossed he is coming back all right so i got blacker which is the black i also have blacker emerald and this is a gorgeous color so they are you don't sharpen the actual pencil the sharpener i'll show you on this one because i haven't used that one yet so the sharpener is in here so can you see that so you just sharpen the actual coal itself well they're not coal but i'm gonna call it coal you sharpen the actual color itself you don't sharpen the pencil so don't try and stick it in a regular pencil sharpener because it won't sharpen so this is i'll just do some swatches so this is blacker emerald isn't that pretty and this is of course we all know what black looks like and then this was from his final collection i'm really happy that i got it um these are the highliners and this is in the color oh my gold and this is in the color glitter sweet so oh my gold is self-explanatory it's a beautiful gold and glitter sweet is kind of like a a bronze or a brownie bronze yeah it's like an old gold and a bronze mixed together i really love this one it's one of my favorites i use it all the time and then i got this is blacker coffee this is what i'm wearing today although you can't really tell because of the shadow i have over it but this is blacker coffee which is a beautiful blackened brown on the bottom right there and then i have blacker current which is like a blackened purple so it's right there it's like a blackened purple love that this one i actually have a photo of and i'll insert it here this is called whirlpool and this is a beautiful teal oh my goodness i love that one right there i love wearing an intense lower lash line it's one of my favorites this one's really nice red eyeliners were in this year so this is called fine wine so it's right there it's a perfect color you could probably even use it for a lip liner if you wanted to whoops i just dropped that one and this one i used in my pat mcgrath video this is really neat and i'm really sad i didn't get a backup of this because i love this one but th this went fast this one must have been a big seller because when it came on sephora's website it was immediately sold out so this one is called where the heck is it lunatic so it's right here it's like a lilac -y silver that's the best way to describe it. I, and it's very metallic. So I love putting it in my, my waterline because it really gets rid of the redness. And if you're not wearing too much makeup, it's just a little pop of something. It may kind of glimmer in the lights, but I think it's really nice. It's a great alternative to a flesh colored pencil or a white pencil. Gosh, it's such a beautiful lilac -y silver, like a lavender silver. It's really pretty. You can even use these as bases for eyeshadows. I've done that as well. I love using the gold and glitter sweet as bases for some of my eyeshadow look. They're amazing. So if and when Marc Jacobs does come back, I totally recommend his highliner gel eyeliners wonderful all right so i got one lipstick um i am a huge fan of mark jacobs lipsticks they are called mark jacobs lamarck lip creme they're gorgeous i love the packaging it's got the magnetic packaging right you guys know i'm a sucker for the mag magnetic lids i don't know it's such a small thing but it really makes me happy go ahead and swatch this for you this is called scandal number i'm not sure if that's an eight or a six what does it say on the box 226 
Scandal. Oh my goodness. Can you see that? Isn't that gorgeous? That would go great with my sweater, right? To have sort of an accent color, just to have a bold lip and really nothing on the eye. Kind of a nudie eye and a bold lip. Love that. I'm going to have to do that for you guys. Oh, so pretty. I am a huge fan of the Marc Jacobs lipsticks. I definitely hope he brings these back. I cannot shut that because I've totally destroyed the box. Um, I definitely hope he brings his lipsticks back. They are absolutely incredible. Okay, well, let's hope I don't get this lipstick on my sweater or on my face because I don't have a, a tissue or a wipe in here. I took them all out and put them on the table outside to make some room in here. Let's talk about the brushes, all right? And I did get three brushes. So I got these a long time ago, like about six months ago, and they were kind of sprinkled throughout Sephora every now and then. And I'm sorry I didn't get a backup of these two. I haven't actually used this one yet, but I've used the Face 3. The bronze number 12 and this is the shape number 15 so the face three is I love using it for foundation and as you can tell I've used it and I just threw it in here I'm sorry I didn't have a chance to clean it but it's a huge kabuki brush so if you are a fan of Tarte giant foundation brush this is very similar so if you happen to be perusing Sephora like I do late at night because sometimes they love to drop things that are hot sellers in the middle of the night. If you happen to be a night owl and you see this, pick this up. This is amazing. And then of course I got this brush when Marc Jacobs first launched several years ago and he came out with his brushes I wanted this brush so bad, but it was super expensive. I think retail price for the bronze was $75. Now, I didn't pay anything close to that. I think I paid $25 for this. So if you do happen to catch it on Sephora's website, definitely pick it up because it normally retails for $75. I think originally it came out and it was 50 and I went to go get it to buy it and I was perusing Sephora too long and by the time I went to go pay for it somebody had taken it out of my cart and I missed it. Then it showed up about a month later and I was able to get it for $25 so half of 50 I got it for 25 So it's wonderful i it is so soft i've actually used it and i washed it for you but i forgot to wash the the foundation brush but i have used this and i've washed it it is like buttery soft these are synthetic brushes they are not animal hair they are synthetic so i love that i just can't they are so soft I wanted this brush so bad but could not pull the trigger. $75 for a makeup brush is insanely expensive. And I wanted it so bad because I thought, wow, it's really bougie. I have to have it. But I just couldn't do it. And when I saw it for $25, I didn't even finish shopping. I went, I put it in my cart and boom, I paid for it. I waited to get the confirmation. I had my fingers crossed that they didn't sell too many. And I was so happy when I got the confirmation because I got it and oh, it, it is everything it says it, it promised to be. Please pick it up. It is totally worth it. So, oh, it makes me so happy. All right, so the last brush I got is called The Shape and this is, I guess, meant for contouring. There is no rules to what brushes are used for what. I haven't used this yet, but I love the idea of it because it's really firm. And I especially love it for cream contour. At least I hope I will because it's nice and firm because I love to stipple my cream contour on. And then after I get it all over, 
Then I go in and I buff it out. Like I said, I got these for probably a third or less of what they retailed for. This was just, like I said, dropped one night at like around midnight, 2 a.m. And I ended up picking it up. I didn't know much about this brush and I went ahead and just bought it. But I'm very excited to have it. All right, so I did end up getting some mascaras. So I actually purchased these. This is the Velvet Noir Mascara and I really wanted to get my hands on this because I this is one mascara I always wanted to try but could never pull the trigger and spring for the full size. So when they were selling these on Sephora's website, I think I paid like six, five or six dollars for these. I got two of them because the reviews on this were incredible. So I haven't tried it yet. I may save it for a Christmas tutorial and break into it. I have so many mascaras, you guys. I have I have about five of them I'm working on right now, but I, I'm, I'm dying to try this. I really want to try it. So that is Velvet Noir. And then they do have this available on the Marc Jacobs Beauty website, the full size. And I think the full size is on sale now for $13. But I have these little mini sizes that I either put in a code or spent my points on. I think I put in a code and I got, I have multiples of these, you guys. I just had two of them down here. I'm not gonna open them up, but I will uh, put the brush on screen, I didn't tell you that, well, I didn't show it to you, but I will show it to you now. So this is what the packaging looks like for Velvet Noir. It's really pretty, right? It's all black. So it's really neat, I love that. And then this of course is my favorite, it's gold and black. It's the Atlash Mascara, really pretty. So I'll put both of these on screen so you could see the difference between the brushes. Um, it looks like the brush is sort of an, uh, on the packaging, sort of an hourglass shape on the Velvet Noir. And I believe the brush on the Atlashed is sort of, it's a very skinny, traditional looking mascara wand. All right, and the last two products I have are eyeshadow palette. This is number 860 Extravagance. And I believe this was from Marc Jacobs Final collection. This is beautiful. It's the same black and gold like the Atlashed Mascara and like it was with this collection right here. So I had to get the eyeshadow palette. This just suddenly showed up in the middle of the night on Sephora's website. This is really pretty, right? Some mattes and some shimmers and some glitters and some metallics. It's beautiful. Oh my goodness. I mean, this would go perfect with my sweater, right? Oh my goodness, I love that. So you guys, these have been sitting in a box waiting for me to haul them. And like I said, I got sick a couple of times, so I wasn't able to film those hauls. And then by the time I felt better and got around to filming it, I got sick again. So then I went to go film it. And of course I had a problem with my SD card, so I'm filming it again. And then I realized that pretty much everything is gone. There's only a few items left. But if they magically find some in the warehouse or you see this set Nordstrom Rack or TJ Maxx or Marshalls, definitely pick it up because I've had, I think I have two of his palettes. I'm not sure which ones I have. They were when his makeup line first came out. So, um, they're excellent. They're really unique. They're very modern. I love how they're designed. They are, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven shades. It's really pretty. Oh, and the names. So the names of Extravagance are, at last I have found the one, the only true love. So the first so what I mean by that is starting from here. So this is at last I have found the gold one is the one, the only true love. So I really think that's neat. That's very unique. Uh, no one's ever done that to my knowledge. 
And I love that. So the names are all back here. I'm really excited to have this. I don't know if I'll use this. I think I might save it if I do use it for New Year's. If you don't see me use it, that means I probably um, am just going to keep it. Just because in case Mark Jacobs does not come back, I, I want to have a keepsake of his. Yeah, it it's really, I'm like that. I'm sorry, but I am. So I'm really excited to have this one. It's, it's amazing. So if you happen to see it, definitely pick it up. Mark Jacobs shadows are incredible. I highly recommend them. So the final makeup item I have from Marc Jacobs is another eyeshadow palette. And it's the Marc Jacobs Iconic Frost Eye Palette. And this is in the shade number 800 Flamboyant. This wasn't part of the permanent collection. Both of these were limited edition. So isn't this pretty? Wow. Look at these two together oh my goodness i love them so i love the cheetah print it's really pretty this is number 800 flamboyant look at how pretty these colors are wow that beautiful wine color gorgeous would go perfect with right it's the same color as fine wine so beautiful beautiful these are all, I think there's two mattes on the end and the rest are shimmers and pearlized metallics. Really pretty. It's not glitter toppers like in this one. I think there's, might be a glitter, couple of glitter toppers in here. Um, you know, that really sort of chunky glitter. These are more metallics, more metallic and pearlized shadows. And then of course you have the mattes down here really really nice i love that wow this is really pretty that you could use this as an everyday palette as well or you can jazz it up for the holidays with that red shade love that um it's really pretty you know this one right here is sort of a a greeny brown like a greeny mid-tone brown I don't know how it's translating. It's not quite the color of my sweater. It's a little bit lighter. It's really pretty though. And that's a beautiful neutral brown. You've got sort of a, a grayish, like a metallic gray. And that looks like a uh, sort of an, an not antique, uh, a rose gold. That's a beautiful sort of chocolate metallic brown. Of course you have that beautiful metallic wine and this is like a champagne all right everybody that's it for me i better go ahead and wrap this sucker up yes it's very sad it is sad indeed but um fingers crossed mark jacob surprises us and he comes back let me know like i said before if you do know the info or the scoop please leave it down in the description box below. All right, everyone, I'm very, very tired. It's very, very late. It's it's around 9.30. I do not tend to film this late, so I better go ahead and wrap it up. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. That really helps me out. Also remember to hit the post notification bell down below so you'll be notified of all of my videos in the future. I thank you for watching. Please stay safe and goodbye, Mark Jacobs. I love you and I will see you in the next video. Okay. See you later, everyone. Ciao. Bye-bye.